Summary of Keeping It from Harold by P. G. Wodehouse Jane Bramble is darning a sock as her son Harold studies. Harold asks his mom to help him recite a song from memory while he reads it out loud. His mother tells him to take a break from learning and go for a walk after he says a line. He does what she says, which makes her think about what a good boy he is and how smart he is. The readers find out that Harold's beauty makes Jane and Bill lie to him about what Bill does for a living. Major Percy Stokes, Jane's haughty brother, and the local priest all helped the Brambles trick their son. Bill agreed to their plan without much trouble because he is a kind and helpful person at heart. Bill is a professional pugilist, which is another word for a boxer. He used to be very proud of his job and even carried around news articles about how good he was in the ring. But after Harold was born, he stopped being in the news because he was afraid that his little gentleman's son would read about him. Harold does well in both his classes at a private school and his religious studies. Because of this, his parents lie and say that Bill is a business traveler or seller instead of telling the truth that he is a boxer who goes by the name Young Porky. Jane is thinking about how happy she is that Bill is going to quit after his next match when her brother and his wife show up at her house. When asked why Bill isn't working out at his gym, Percy says with excitement that he has told Bill that his job is wrong. Bill says that he will not fight in his upcoming match, but he insists that it wasn't Percy's morals lessons that made him decide not to fight. Instead, he says, the big match would be covered by major newspapers with his picture, and Harold would see it and figure out the truth. Jane has never liked her husband's job, but she points out that it has helped them make a lot of money and given Harold a good education. Bill tells Jane that this is for Harold's own good, but Jane starts to cry. Just then, Bill's trainer Jerry walks in and yells at him to come back to the gym. He tells Bill to think about the money, the crowds, the press, and Jerry's own image as a trainer. Bill still says no. Then, when Harold gets back from his walk, Jerry gets back at Bill by telling Harold the truth about what his father does for a living. Harold tells the adults, much to their surprise, that he has already bet on the match, so his father can't back out of the fight and ruin his bet. Harold then complains that Bill didn't tell him the truth, because being able to brag that his father was young Porky would have stopped the other boys at school from calling Harold goggles. Harold and his friends have been watching the sport for years, he says, before asking his father for a picture of him fighting to show everyone. Jerry and Bill go back to the gym, where they feel better, and Harold goes back to practicing his reciting. About the author. Wodehouse was born in 1881 in the town of Guildford, Surrey, England. He went to high school at Dulwich College before getting a job at a bank in London. He wrote 80 articles and stories in two years while he was a junior banker. After getting a job as a newspaper writer and having his first book published, he quit his job at the bank to write full-time. Before he turned to comedy, which is what he was best at, he wrote public school stories and light tales. Even though most of Wodehouse's stories take place in England, he lived most of his life in the United States and France. In 1940, the Nazis caught him in France and held him for almost a year. In 1941, he talked about his time in jail in a funny way on the radio from Germany to the United States. He also made fun of his German guards in a subtle way. These radio shows on German stations caused a lot of trouble in Britain, and many of Wodehouse's peers never forgave him. After the war, he went to the US for good. During his life, Wodehouse wrote and published more than 90 books and wrote or collaborated on more than 50 film scripts, plays, and musical comedies. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.